guys, Spooky Squid here. Or as some of you may know me as your friendly neighborhood piercer, Erica. So today we are going to talk about ear curation. So if that sounds interesting, please keep watching. So in case you were wondering, um, ear curation, sometimes they are called constellation ears, or I don't know, I've heard like a bunch of other terms for it, but basically um, you get multiple piercings in your ears that are set up in a way that's aesthetically pleasing and usually with like really nice jewelry that fits your anatomy. I'll just show some pictures up here so you get an idea of what I'm saying. So ear curation, um, it is a little bit of a process. So the first thing you wanna do is look at portfolios, like look up body piercers in your areas that think that that you think are good. Um, if you're looking for like a really reputable piercer in your area, you can check out um, the APP website. I will link that down below. Um, there is a map function that shows you which body piercers are APP approved. Of course, like there are excellent piercers that aren't APP either. So Sometimes it's just a question of like really doing your research and looking up portfolios and looking up their Instagram and, you know, word of mouth sometimes as well, but really just make sure you're, you do your research to find a good piercer. Usually um, when it's something like that, you want to book an appointment with them and they'll do a little bit of a, they'll do a little bit of a consult for you to talk about what your options are. So if you want to plan out your project and kind of talk to them about like what you're thinking of, you can do that as well. Sometimes you can just come in and a lot of piercers are happy to like just find something that works well with your ear anatomy. Um, it's really important that you go with your ear anatomy. Like sometimes if you have a plan in mind, it doesn't necessarily work out because your ear isn't shaped the same as maybe the example you saw on Pinterest. So just keep an open mind and trust your piercer to kind of create something that's just unique to your ear. And I think that's pretty much what the term ear curation is. Like you want something that really focuses on like your anatomy and flows with your ear. So you wanna to listen to the piercer's advice. Don't argue with them. Like they know what they're talking about and you'll be pleasantly surprised at the end, I promise. <laughs> Another thing you have to think of is don't expect to walk into your appointment and get your whole ear done at once. Um, a lot of piercers won't do more than three cartilage piercings at a time just because it is a lot to heal on the one ear. Um, and if you do too much at once, it can be too much for your ear to handle and might end up not healing properly, properly at all. Like if you go in and you get like 10 piercings in your ear, your ear is just gonna like, I mean, it's more fragile. Uh, you really have to take care of it. And like a lot of time it's just too much and you end up losing all those piercings. So just go a few at a time. It's less painful. It's a lot easier to heal and your ear will thank you. So as I said, they are, they do take a long time to heal. So listen to your piercer's advice um, for healing process. A lot of times they'll give you a pamphlet with all the information and don't feel shy about asking them for advice. Like if you have issues with your ear, like it's part of their job. Like they'll answer questions and they'll try and help you out because it is their work and they want you to have a happy, healthy piercing. Don't ask for advice on your neighbor that tells you that they use peroxide on their ear and it healed fine. Like, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so a lot of times, um, especially for cartilage piercings, you'll want to go back for checkups, see how they're healing. Um, like usually it's every uh, month or so, like sometimes a little bit more. Um, usually once the swelling goes down, you'll want to go back to get fitted for, uh, like 
shorter bars and like smaller jewelry so it doesn't move around and cause irritation. So that's very important to go back to your checkup appointment. Um, usually they'll book you in um, right after you get your initial piercing or they'll just tell you to call them back like after X number of days. So just stay on top of that. And like I mentioned, downsizing is crucial. You really don't want to skip out on that appointment. Go back and get more fitted uh, jewelry for your piercing and that will really help it heal more quickly. And like just be gentle with it and you don't want to skimp out on aftercare. Like listen to your piercer and yeah, because it is a it is a process and you just want to make sure that it looks nice at the end, right? Because that's that's all that's all we want. <laughs> um, and keep in mind that depending on what your project and your idea is, a full project can take months, sometimes years to fully finish. So be patient. Be patient, do your aftercare. Um, I have a lot of ear piercings and this it has taken me years to get to this. And yeah, it is a process, but it's, it is worth it in the end. And I'm really happy with my ears now. I'm still trying to restretch my ears because I was kind of a dumbass at the beginning of lockdown and forgot to put my plugs back in and just kind of let them shrink down. So I shrunk from 30 millimeter to what is this like 14 millimeters, 12 maybe. I don't know, but they're, they're sad now. <laughs> I don't want to go back. Sorry for the segue. That's just me rambling. Back to ear piercings. Just listen to your piercer and yeah, be patient. Um, another point that I want to make is it's not cheap. <laughs> so just be prepared to spend the money necessary to get nice jewelry, to get nice work, and don't forget to tip your piercer. So yeah, if you do have any questions, um, feel free to comment down below. I will also uh, link all the piercers Instagram down below that I have featured up here. Um, just in case you're looking for someone to get your ear curation, there are quite a few up here. So maybe you'll find someone that's in your area. Um, with all that said, listen to your piercer, make sure you're healed up and don't put peroxide on anything. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.